Nam Nab is a podcast that deals with the grisly details of a variety of topics, including true crime cases, government cover-ups, conspiracies, and the paranormal. This content is not suitable for everyone. Viewer discretion is advised. She was murdered. What's up, my dudes? Welcome back. This is not a monster, not a boogeyman. I'm Naomi. I'm Janae. And I'm Les. And we have a very special guest with us today. Hello. It's almost like she's not even a guest anymore. I was gonna <laughs> say, when are we just gonna love her? When are we <laughs> just <laughs> adding her? <laughs> Naye. Everyone. Naye, I'm back. <clears throat> All right. So I have kind of a spooky episode for you because we've been doing such heavy shit on the show that we just like kind of needed a break plus i like myths and legends so woo yeah i got two for you today uh first one will be la pascualita Ooh. from chihuahua mexico exciting yeah so this is like i would say like a lot of people visit her in that state it's pretty well known um basically this is a mannequin we're referring to the store itself is also called la pascualita is like uh is that like a like nickname for brides at all or is it just the store's owner okay i was just making sure yeah no just her daughter i think essentially it's her, the daughter i think it's the owner and her daughter's name mm-hmm. yeah yeah so um a long long last time ago um like i don't even know like over 90 years ago how much is that 1920s probably 1918s i can't do math i don't know either <laughs> i'm a social yeah, so worker about 90 years no ago. one in this podcast can do math <laughs> nine years ago 90, 90. <laughs> nine zero <laughs> how why okay i'm gonna just do it now this is, this is really nine like, we years all ago at university <laughs> all social sciences yeah 1931 Ooh, so okay. i've been there for a while so Basically, a lot of the time, people go to visit this mannequin, A, because she's known to be very haunted. Um, I think that's just a myth and legend that's around the, like, realisticness that she looks super real. Mm -hmm. Um, So it's also said that if you get the dress that she's wearing as a Mm bride-to-be, you're going to have a really lucky marriage. (laughs) So people will pay top dollar for that dress. (laughs) Yeah, but it's, like, apparently because of how old this mannequin is and i'm just going to show them a picture we'll have pictures again on our like website and instagram um of this like life life mannequin but honestly i really want to see it in person because it's so weird okay i'm I'm looking her up now she is like for her (coughs) day and age i would say like she is pretty freaking realistic and really nice i mean for that time right that year like the materials that were had to be used to Mm -hmm. create this were really hard to come by structure yeah and it's like it's the detail yeah the details yeah it's handmade yes and the detail yeah the details are like to the point and so this is a picture of the store owner's daughter who passed away like shortly after don't Uh, they kind of yeah she was like a bride to be she was going to get married too yeah and so she either got poisoned by a scorpion or an a spider mm. so both both probably a scorpion but i'm not too sure she passed away unfortunately and then that's why her mom named her after the store but it is known that the mannequin sometimes follows people with her eyes mm. people have seen her smile there's a lot mm. of that kind of really creepy stuff that goes on um but yeah like it is so historical has to be handled with quite a bit of care because like yeah it's like pretty pretty sensitive um, so yeah, you have to like have gloves on and stuff, but the weird thing is, <laughs> um, she is, she has all anatomy. So she's fully atomic. She's like yeah. at- anatomically correct. Yeah. Uh, why? Um, so why? she has a vagina. Why that's is right. she anatomically correct? I don't, I don't like know. That. That's the weird thing. So that's like. The mannequin. That was like above no all. No mannequin. No. No. Uh, so above <coughs> all. Ever. That was the strangest detail because they've had like, they've had morticians and mannequinists. I don't know if that's the word. in <laughs> People who build mannequins. Mannequinists. Um, sculptors? What are you guys called? <laughs> a store? Like a storm? Like a, you know, for her. Day, yeah, nineteen factories and stuff like, that did fuck? that. We don't shit, even right? have mannequins that look like this this day. They age. can barely make fat mannequins, let alone <laughs> one with a fucking vagina, dude. Like, what? 
so that's that right. Was just a really that's strange right. detail to me because it's like, but why? <laughs> right. It's like you guys wouldn't even model pantyhose at the time. Like. Yeah, and her eyelashes are very realistic, too. Yeah. Um, I think they do use real hair. Is yeah. It's the fucked up thing, too. But, um, so, yeah, a lot of people think that this is just, like, the preserved corpse, like, yep. living corpse of the woman's daughter. That's horrible. And, like, honestly, I don't know, man. It's just really strange that she's anatomically correct. Like, if anyone knows why, <laughs> and, yeah, even they don't know necessarily why. But I heard also <laughs> her. I would love if they just like took a picture of her naked for people because I oh want to know. <laughs> no, like, but is true. it all for science? Like, the whole thing, full body, like very realistic. Probably. Does she have full feet? Like I have a lot of questions that are not answered ever. People said that her Oceans. mom loved her so much that she wanted her to live forever. She it, had a very hard time it, dealing yeah. with her passing. It's like Carl Tanzler. Then that, that shit was real. And that's that was a real human. Think, okay. This is too much. That was a real human. Yeah, that, that was, was a real, a real human. human. Oh but I think she's beautiful. Overall, I think she's, oh, yeah, beautiful. she's beautiful. If it is the daughter, she's, you know, she's taking care of her mom's shop. And oh. she's lucky. She's blessing all kinds that's of brides. Sweet. I mean, so, that's like, a good a thing. Because like, if she wants you know? to protect the shop, that means that there's a positive connection there, yes? Well, and she's also not cursing these brides to be, you know, if that yeah, was right. like a thing. That would be, <laughs> oh, but uh, the same thing as like Harold. If you speak poorly to her or like ill of her, like it's said to be that you've had some little curse on you. Oh yeah, like Robert the Doll. But yeah, they were like taking mm. pictures of her one time and they swear. And there's like this really kind of cheesy video online, but she <laughs> smiles and it is kind of weird. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. Like I saw the corners also, but it could very well be manipulation, you know. Of but course, like, yeah. yeah. Oh, so well, spooky. The girl who works there. She basically was like, I see her all the time, but we're basically at the back of the store where she's always at the front. So, like, mm-hmm. if she was doing stuff, <laughs> we wouldn't know. But there have been people who claimed that they heard her, like, moving around, like, people who've worked there in the past, and that she'll be in the position and then, like, be in a different position. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's like fucked up Toy Story, and I don't like mm-hmm. that. <laughs> I don't like that Fuck at all. But yeah, if you want to see her, the weeping angels, maybe. You know, it's really well visited, so. And they have some nice dresses. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Cute. You're trying to get married. <laughs> Very cute. Don't ever bring up the weeping angels. I will <laughs> fucking cry. <laughs> so, yeah, that was, like, haunted thing. This is going to be a haunted place. Um, the Ancient Ram Inn. Have you heard of it before? I have. I have haven't. You? Yeah. What have you heard? Um. I so to be completely honest, I have just watched the Shitty Ghost Adventures. Uh, yes. Episode two. That's where I found it. <laughs> so this. it wasn't Ghost Adventures though. It was Nuke's top five ghosts that'll make you want to punch. That was my best impression. Uh. <laughs> I think he's Canadian. Anyway, I think we should totally do something like that too. But Janae's scared. I'm, She's too scared. I am. I don't. Fuck. No, this one is scary. with spirits. Bro. I, like, I want to do not it. Go to this one. Mm-hmm. What about that road down Ooh. in fucking Arvada? Mm-hmm. I'll talk of Riverdale really quick before I start this because it's like actually <laughs> kind yeah, of road. fucking creepy. Uh, yeah. It's like weird. Not just like occurrences have definitely happened on that road, but mm-hmm. also like every time <clears throat> I've been in a car with someone, something weird happens to them. Mm-hmm. Like they get aggressive, and mm-hmm. it's like a thirty mile per hour zone mm-hmm. in a neighborhood in small town Arvada mm-hmm. that like for some reason everyone that I've known has been really fast on that road and also we recently had someone we know pass away two people pass away because of the same reason that they were just speeding mm-hmm. I imagine there could have been alcohol but it was just that so yeah mm-hmm. like weird weird things happen and we could totally go there but I'm a little sketched out by that no that sort of stuff i don't feel comfortable with that one's like, like real ones real. where like <laughs> yeah where it <laughs> hurts people like, no. that's different See, yeah it's, it's like it's it's a, it's like a energy place yeah no, that <laughs> road is really scary though because when you read mm-hmm. stories and stuff it's like people will have people running alongside their car yeah no like, yeah, as they're yeah, driving yeah. and shit yeah no yeah. Yeah. yeah, there's no. been vis- like a boy, yeah. a little boy that people always talk about seeing, and I totally believe it because I bet you someone hit him there because they're going too fast, mm-hmm. and I totally believe that stuff. So that kind of, and on this episode that I've watched too of like a History Channel episode of like haunted places in England, which is plentiful, plentiful haunted spirits, and I wonder why. But he basically explained like from a physicist perspective, like what a ghost possibly could be, and it was like. 
basically how energy is neither created or destroyed, right? Mm -hmm. He was basically saying that that only applies to our realm, but that sometimes a ghost might even kind of traverse that law, and that's why it's here, is it's energy that wasn't created or destroyed. It's just lingering. And it's not supposed to, but there's like ways that that it, makes a lot of sense. There's ways that it recycles the the energy that comes around yeah. it. Mm-hmm. So like so for example, if you have a good energy in there, mm-hmm. it might take that and go, and then just like spit out and get back to negative because yeah. the negative mm-hmm. builds it more because they right. could stay here longer. Right. Usually it's sadness, fear, yeah. anger, or like if it's trauma. a really traumatic event, like that kind of scars the energy of the location. Yeah. yeah. So like. If you go to a place where like a lot of abuse happened, a lot of like if you go to like yeah. mental institutions or yeah. old like, or, like shit like that, it there's a lot of really mm-hmm. negative energy there mm-hmm. because of the trauma that's occurred. When I walk in hospital, I don't like it because it makes me think that I'm already dead. Like it's all white, it's all a maze. There's so many doors. There's so many people that are not kind. They're just treating no. like a ghost, basically. Yeah, a hospital is a very sad place, and I could say that it might be because of that. But then there's also really good things that happen there right like life yeah um, but yeah what an interesting place a hospital let's get into this guy so that episode of nukes top five ghost that'll make you want to punch it's called that because of the people who visited this place so another ghost hunter group i forget what they were called um but basically they go in there they have a whole camera crew they were able to get like a private touring of the place they go to the witch's room um that is known to be one of the most haunted rooms in the whole inn and they kind of, I think things were going kind of slowly, so they chose to sort of, well, one of them antagonizes the ghost. Not the best decision in this place. He literally gets hit. The inn itself is placed on, it was built in 1145, first off. 1145 like that shit Whoa. is old. yeah jesus um and it was a former priest residence and a public house um basically the oldest building in england's Wad- watton under edge um it's in where is it called i think it was uh worshire england worshire england <laughs> um i'm gonna go with that one <laughs> but it also is um, built on low-lying wetlands near the Potter's Pond, Mm -hmm. Um, but a layland is what they call it. Mm -hmm. So Stonehenge is, like, super close also, and it's basically laid on this parallel, like, area that is known for paranormal activity. There's only a few other occurrences of it in the world. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that's why they think the pagans practice their magic there. Yeah. Um, Hmm. So it's also built on a pagan burial ground where human sacrifice happens, like, actual fossils of human sacrifice mm-hmm. which were mostly kids so it's fucked, fucked up jesus just a perfect Mm-mm. recipe for hauntedness oh yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. oh yeah saint mary's church was right by it mm. so during the crusades um basically everyone who was thought to be a witch was murdered mm-hmm. oh. so legend tells it this girl who was actually part of the monastery like monastery i mean for nuns mm-hmm. she basically gets accused of being a witch and they hunt her down she runs to the inn to this room the oh. witch's room okay and <laughs> burns there yeah so um she well they kind they uh they find her there and then take her outside and burn her on the grounds but yes um, she was that was the last pa- place she was hiding mm-hmm. and that's who they think haunts the room mm-hmm. <laughs> and this fucking group man, this guy so they all sleep in different parts of the inn um, this guy's like so you were a witch huh? like you practice magic she literally like slaps like something off of his head or something he's like what the fuck was that no he gets so scared he's like whoa 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 you guys you guys you guys like something just fucking touched me no 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 and they're like just lay on the bed so they basically fuck him over this was the best part they they sustain their or restrain their friend so he can't move fucked up because they notice that she's like he's pissing her off and she's actually paying attention to it and um so he's restrained on the bed. She slaps. And then he's, he's like, basically, he's like, I'm done. Like, I can't be here anymore. I gotta go but back. yeah, can you believe that? Like, he was touched Jesus. by her. Like, she, that's how much energy this ghost yeah. has. Yeah. yeah. Is to touch this I man. Think. You don't go into someone's house and disrespect, and disrespect them. them. No. Not if you want answers and stuff. But yeah, she was not fucking around. So, 
Interesting. That's the episode that basically caught my eye about this place. In the late 1960s, so basically the inn had just been like preserved. A lot of people owned it, but it was going in and out of business because nobody wanted to take it, basically. But this guy, John Humphreys, who's pretty well known in the ghost community now because of his experience at this inn. Mm -hmm. Dude, there's some fucked up shit that he claims that happened to him. Like... (laughs) He has journals and stuff, but essentially, the inn was such a good steal. He had to buy it. He had his two daughters and his wife, um, and he he buys the inn. He basically said that there are two major demons, at least who present themselves in the inn, Mm -hmm. on a day to day basis, and it was one a succubus, Mm -hmm. and one an incubus. Mm -hmm. Um, Basically, sex demons, male and sex, Mm -hmm. or male and female, whatever form. Right? Yeah. Is that what an incubus and succubus yes. are? Okay. <laughs> yeah. Well, he's seduced, I think, by a succubus. Okay. From his writings. Like, and he lived? He was basically let her rape him, is what he said. But then started falling for her. So she basically, like, hmm. anyway, he dri- like the ghosts pretty much are driving him insane. Oh, and his God. wife and daughters are like, dude, this is too fucking it's haunted for us. We're yeah. not staying here. So we're going to leave. And John chooses Shit. to stay. He literally oh. lets his family leave to stay in this place. And I'm not assuming because he likes it. I'm assuming because yeah. something's holding him there, right? Yeah. Very shining esque. Well, it's interesting how like fall he falls for her. He begins to. I think that's what happened from his mm-hmm. writings. <gasps> and it's in old English, so I don't know. Yeah. Everything sounds very romantic. <laughs> That's true. Oh, that is very true. Whatever. Like once I think he said that she possessed her his wife and then oh, he shit. thought she was talking to his wife. That's a very powerful demon, shape shifting. I mean, they're just having a blast at this point. Like whoever walks in, they're like, Yeah, like we're here. And people do still go. Yeah. I couldn't imagine that someone would pay that much to stay at this haunted place without knowing it was haunted, but I think people claim that too. Like, I just thought I wanted a room here and it was haunted. I was like, well, you're stupid. Oh, you're stupid. You didn't Google it at all? Well, like that couple at Cecil Hotel who were like, I just thought it was cheap. We're drinking the the body water. Oh, God. Sorry, Lisa. Rest in peace. God. But no, that one, Ah. just hearing their experience has traumatized me. So he basically lived there for a long time until he passed away. Um, wow. And so Of old age or yeah, what? Yeah, he bought the house in 68. Yeah, he had some health problems, but mm. he lived for a fairly long time. I don't know exactly what he passed away from, but it wasn't too bad. But before he um, passed, he also, I don't know why he would stay here, but he said that when he went to sleep, um, basically a demonic force that he couldn't sleep, see would um, grab his arm mm-hmm. and dragged him out of his bed across the room mm. no. every night once oh once but oh I my just, god like, at that point you're like you go I'm so scared that my brain is fucking with me you know like mm. that happens mm-hmm. but no he's he, he felt that that's true least. so weird yeah um terrifying the bishop's room is also considered very haunted in the inn I'm not exactly sure why, but it's like bishops, like bishops that haunt that room. Isn't that fucking terrifying? That's weird. The church at some point used it as a prison also and just treated slaves terribly. That's it. <laughs> they were like, you guys are going to help us build this church right next door and you're going to stay here in this haunted fucking place. But yeah, no. Oh, yeah. There was also um, like things found in the walls, like dead animals. These were like corpses in the walls. <sighs> Yeah, anything in the walls is just like unsettling. No. Well, what are yeah, no. whichever one. Nope. <laughs> it's, no, it's real homey anything. looking. Yeah. Though. It's really yes. homey looking. Please keep it. The the well, then you just really want to be cute. surrounded like by cottage. your fucking a face things you've murdered. I think that's also something magic real ritualistic. Um, like cats are known to protect homes, and I think yeah. they might have done that. Like, I'll kill this cat and it'll protect me, and I'll put it in the <sighs> house. Yeah, basically. Makes sense. Yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. Old, in old timey. So, yeah, let us know if you've had any weird ghost things happen to you. Janae and I have. That was really creepy. I didn't like that. Yeah, we don't like that. Um, but, yeah, anything, please don't go to these places for fun. I I watched this, but, yeah, it's not cool to me. I don't follow those guys who went there. I follow Nukes. He, he just collects videos of other people being stupid. Yeah. <laughs> Same. Yeah. yeah.
And if you have cultural folklore stories that you want us to cover, let us know because I really like these episodes. Yeah, I think they're interesting. And with those things, we always like if you will like give us some information, like maybe from your area or things that you know about it, because we want to yeah, honor locals. like locals when it comes to those things too. Yeah, and people of that culture. So like, you know, don't like white yeah. people yeah. don't t- send me shit don't about voodoo. I'm not gonna read it. No, no. <laughs> you know, like yeah, don't culture. Like it is your culture, please. Yeah. <laughs> About Tell it. us things. Yeah, we want to know. Um, also, if your house is haunted, I'm especially curious too. Yeah. Also interesting. Yeah. Yikes. I like listening to haunted Yikes. things. But, but please don't stay anywhere that's not safe. If you want to see some pictures from this episode, go check out our Instagram at Not a Boogeyman. Uh, if you want to read today's case, please go to namnav.com. We got the blog there with pictures and stuff that relates. Yeah, and follow us. Oh, did you say follow us on Instagram? I did. Well, Patreon. that's fine. It will be follow our Patreon, please. We have very special episodes there. Some cooler content that maybe is more popular that we won't go ahead and share for everyone. Since it's like, yeah, already been done. said and done. Yeah. Um, but yeah, and there's some cool merch there, too. Yeah. We want to send you free things. Please. Join. Come back next week. We'll continue our series. Bye. Bye. Yeah. <laughs>